Hello everyone, Justin the Gaming here. Today I'll be giving out basic defensive tips. These are mainly for people new to the defenseman position, but they're also helpful for defensive minded forwards, guys that aren't big four checkers, or if you ever have to cover for a defenseman as if you're on the penalty kill. Once again, these are basic tips, but if you do follow these tips, your teammates and goalie will thank you for it. The first tip I have for you guys, protect the blue line. The blue line is essentially a third defender. Anytime you let the other team walk into your zone, their chances of scoring increase immediately. Games can be won or lost at the blue line. Stay close to anybody near your blue line and slow down the puck carrier as much as possible. This doesn't mean you have to go for the hit, because going for a hit at the wrong time can lead to a scoring chance. If you can't take the puck away at the blue line, then your job is to slow them down enough to either draw an offsides or to buy enough time for your forwards to back check. The next tip I have has to deal with defenders backskating towards their own net. A very common mistake I'll see by inexperienced defensemen is when they backskate too fast to the front of the net, especially during a fast break. The less pressure you put on the other team, the closer they can get to the net, and that will never make a goalie happy. Do your best to force them outside, skate at a speed that matches the puck carrier, and keep your body and stick close. Always pressure the puck carrier. The third tip I have for you guys has to do with passing lanes. Basically, if you're not defending the puck carrier, then you're covering a passing lane. Defensemen love to park themselves right in front of the net. Although this is a decent place to start, all players need to expand their zone a little bit and move towards a nearby threat. Parking in front of the net doesn't help all the time, so be sure to look for nearby passing lanes and have them covered. Don't stray too far away from your net though because you do have to pick up rebounds. The fourth tip I have, and it could be one of the most important ones, is to be patient during the breakout. The breakout is a very important part of hockey. If you can't get the puck out of your zone and up the ice safely, winning will be difficult. And the key word is safely. Don't force a pass up the ice, see if your teammates are open, and make sure you don't set them up for a suicide pass. If everyone's covered and you have space, start carrying the puck up the ice. Teams that move the puck up the ice together, as a team, will always have more success. Alright guys, two more tips. This one I like to call last man back. It's a very simple concept. The puck carrier should never be the last man back. If he turns it over, there's no last line of defense and you have a breakaway. So if one defenseman has the puck, the other should be behind him or a bit back into the side. Not only as that last line of defense, but another passing option just in case. And the final tip I have for you guys, it's pretty straightforward. If someone's behind you, that's bad. If you're a defenseman and someone gets behind you, that's a chance for a breakaway. If somebody does get behind you, do your best to get in the passing lane or to chop the puck away. There's my defensive tips. Whether you're a defenseman or someone who is eventually going to try out playing as a defenseman, hopefully these tips help. As a goalie, these are the basic things that I'm hoping my random teammates do in drop-ins. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Maybe add some extra tips for people watching. Remember, you can follow and reach me on Twitch and Twitter. I'll leave those links in the description below. I'm just into gaming, and thanks for watching.